how's it going? Okay, so today I'm going to show another video, one that I haven't seen. Um, this was done August 1st. Oh, and I'm going to do, and then afterwards I'm going to read another article about Hey Jay. They're pretty interesting. I have this one and then I've got another one to read, so I'll do that for tomorrow's video. And then I've got something else um, I'm getting sent to that has to do with her and Dr. Phil, so I'll be reading that. Not tomorrow, I guess the next day. Um, <clears throat> oh, and also I'm glad that you guys have mentioned that the speaker works. So from now on, I'm going to be using that so we can actually hear what the hell she's saying. Because honestly, I can't hear her. So we'll be using the speaker, which will be much better. Except for when I go live, I won't be able to, I don't think. No, I won't be able to. All right. Let's see the shit show. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh my God. Hey. Um, I just wanted to jump on here. Um, well, it's really loud. The dogs are barking. Kids are yelling. It's time for dinner. Then why are you on I'm here? I'm to upload a new video on my YouTube channel. Um, if you're not on my YouTube channel, I'm doing a video about Ginger and Jerry Lolo, which is going to be out here in a few minutes. Um, so I've been... How's it going to be out there in a few minutes? Huh? So you still need to do the video and put it out. And you're live right now. When you should be, I don't know, maybe making dinner, helping make dinner instead of hiding. Posting some stuff today about uh, the situation. And listen, um, I just want to be super clear. Like, I'm not here to be about, like, drama or <laughs> whatever. Like, um, when I start recording on Story, I look at Story from start to finish. I look at all the really? Story. I look at the players in Story. Um, I recognize a lot of you guys got involved in the Story because you want justice for this for Bond, right? And as this kind of all for last month, um, it's very clear to me that there's a lot of people that have specific agendas and they're pushing an agenda, whether there's any validity surrounding the concerns. And I'm not here to say that Trey McRae is by any means uh, like someone that I would want to hang out with or that I agree with or that I think that what she's doing online is great. I don't. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think anyone really gives a crap whether you would hang out with her or not. That's not what this is about. She doesn't even make sense. Look at that face. So <clears throat> I was watching the latest video from Nene Marie. It's awesome. Um, basically what it's about is Katie. <coughs> Sorry, hold on one second. I have to tickle my throat. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, the video is about her abusing her Adderall. Dilated pupils. Like they're huge. Got huge pupils. Look at that face. She can't stop touching her nose. It even has, I did a video on it when it first came out. Remember the Q-tip video when she was sniffing something up her nose? So that's involved in the video. So I'll try and remember to link her video below because it is really good. Um, it explains Adderall abuse to a T through her own actions. Yeah. So we need to see it. I might show you the end part. Maybe a little bit of it. I just don't like showing other people's videos, except for KJ, but any other people, because I want them to get the credit. You know what I mean? So I think I, I don't know. I'll decide, I guess, at the end. <laughs> I don't agree with a lot of what she does. But trying to push a narrative that she tried to murder someone. Oh, don't. I just, it's, oh, hell no. How the fuck does she get away with saying that? She can't get away with saying that. She's the one that started that narrative. Honestly, what do you, is she really that stupid or she really thinks she's like this amazing reporter and whatever, and her shit doesn't stake and she can say what she wants because her little stupids believe her. I mean, I'm just sick and tired of her saying that people running with the false narrative that each, that Drake had to murder her own husband because she's the one that started that. And there's no way in hell I'm going to let her lift that down. That rumor started with you, KJ. God. I mean so clear that this is some sort of like money grab to get people so enticed and outraged that they will continue to donate to the creators that are pushing the area and continue wow. to um, the family to get lawyers and all of this stuff. And I just want to be super clear with you guys, this case is under investigation by police. There is literally no reason why any lawyers need to be involved at this point. Zero. You do not hire a prosecutor. You do not hire a defense attorney. Who the fuck are you to decide who needs what, when, and where? I mean, honestly, what is she? The, ju the judge and jury and executioner on YouTube and Facebook and, and Twitter and Instagram. She's got some balls. I'll tell you that much. 
<clears throat> if any creators watching this, please, 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 please join me on Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I want a bunch of us to go on stream and discuss Katie and honestly, just have a good time. We all never get to hang out, and I think we should. Because I love all you guys. Okay, back to it. Um, for the criminal prosecution, because there's criminal prosecution. Do you understand what that is? These are people that work for the state. They are the state versus X person, right? State versus Josh Governor. The U.S. District Attorney, U.S. Prosecutors. They were the people that work for the... What the hell? B -b 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 Josh. <laughs> what does that have anything to do with anything? She's obsessed. <laughs> She's talking about... <laughs> Marvon and Dre and throws Josh in there. Like, holy <laughs> wow. The government that prosecuted Josh Shutter, okay? You don't hire him. You don't need an attorney for a criminal case. Here it is. Really? And all of these, we need millions of attorneys. And, and watching all these live today and trying to push them to get more attorneys, it's very clear it's to push fundraising. Very clear, in my opinion. More money, more money means more money for her, more money for her channel, um, more exposure for her. And listen, I understand everyone has a platform. Listen, asshole, that money goes directly to the Tisha. I don't know what your what her problem is with money. And when someone else is getting it, she has a fit. I don't understand that. I mean, are you really that grimy and high me that you have to have all the money that's donated to anyone anywhere and you have to have it? Because I guarantee if PJ had her way, all these cash ass would be running to her bank account like she's done with every other fundraiser. Yeah. And everyone can use the story and, and do it in whatever direction that they want to do, but I don't want to be a part of anything that is exploitative to anyone. Wow. I don't want to exploit Andrea, I don't want to exploit Bond, I don't want to exploit his family, I don't want to you exploit already have. This is a man that is in a coma at a hospital that has mandated reporters around him 24 hours a day. He is under the care of doctors. If doctors have any concerns about this man, they will automatically make a report to Adult Protective Services, or they will get their social workers involved. There is literally no reason for any help, any groups to say put out a phone number for adult protective services literally no one should be contacting ATS. you're place. not the boss of the internet no there the doctors are there they're aware of the care and adult protective services will consider him safe regardless of what you guys think because he's under the care of doctor fueling an online mob does not help the litigation that would potentially be brought up by either of his parents by lots of parents if they were decided to decide to move forward i can tell you that the judge would look at this as harassment towards andrea and it would look as though they're making their life and situation for bond unsafe it is not safe for a patient to have their parents online constantly discussing the status of this patient. There was a reason why Andrea didn't want all of this out there, and I totally understand that. How do you know? Privacy. And I know people were mad at her for exploiting him and making money off of it. But what's happening is the exact same thing on the other side. You went from one side constantly making money now to his parents making endless money. Do you guys not find that weird that she's constantly bitching about money? It's none of her business at all. This has nothing to do with her. She's not even supposed to be talking about this person. Nothing. The family wants nothing to do with her. They don't want her talking and speaking on the subject at all. And yet here we are. Every single live she does. Patients, Leticia making endless amounts of money. And Molly. Who cares? And Justin and Network is making super chats. For those of you wow. that are going to They're making super me, chats. Don't you mean receiving super chats, dummy? When I find all their lives. If I get stars on my are already monetized Facebook, that's just Facebook stars. You know, it's one cent, I think, for every star. I'm not making a lot. There you go. There we have it, folks. So that's what it is, because she's not making the money. She's pissed off. It's okay for her to make money, but no one else. <laughs> wow. That stupid face. The money on this. I'm using my platform to try to send a message. No, you're and not. The message is that this entire story is a farce. There is concern here, but justice for Bond was never justice for Bond. It was justice for Letitia to see her son. She saw her son, and it was built on a lie. And I don't know how else to tell you that. She was never banned from seeing her son. She was never prohibited from being near him. She could have gone had she wanted to. There was no need to get an attorney. The only thing I've learned in this entire situation is that both Andrea and him struggled with addiction and mental illness. And suicide attempts, no matter how you look at it, they don't make sense. They'll never make sense to family members. No family ever wants to try and make sense of why their loved one might attempt to take their own lives. But fueling and pushing a family grieving into a corner to continue to fundraise, to actually pull your channel up, to make people outraged, so that you can build your channel, you can get super chats. You is she re- Mom said it. What's she talking about? She's putting the beef on. Look at her arms. Even her boobs have grown. Remember, they were like flat like pancakes. She's putting the beef on. Unless she's wearing that bra that like has fake boobs in it or whatever it was she wore. Because remember, she didn't have any boobs whatsoever. Now she's putting the beef on. You can get, you know, all of your membership. It's wrong. 
Not only that, but the invasion of privacy of having people drive to Dre's house, take photographs of her backyard, um, giving all Dre's mom's address online and telling people to go over there, putting the phone number for adult protective service, CPS, and all these other things. I never posted any of those. I accidentally posted her address when I posted the original uh, <coughs> police report by her dad. Notice how she accidentally posts everyone's address and accidentally doxes every single person she's in contact with? Yeah. That's not accident. That's malicious. Maliciousness on her part and her end. Did that as soon as I was made aware. But I've never called for anyone. In fact, I called for people to stop, to stop doing these things. All of this does is it hinders the investigation. And if you actually cared about Marvon and Letitia Jackson, or I'm sorry, Marvon Jackson and Letitia Bias, you would tell them to get the hell off line and take care of their families. Wow. All of this is going to do is make. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just stuck your foot in your mouth there. Get off line and take care of your families. <laughs> Oh my god! Is this a joke? Am I being punked? <laughs> um, KJ, take your own advice. Oh my god! Wow. Right? Give them no information. They're not going to win information by continually bashing her, by getting the online mobs to hate her. They're not going to win favor with her if uh, there's an angry mob continually trying to attack her. They're not going to get any information about Marvon because, frankly, why would Dre trust anyone at this point to give anyone information knowing that it's just going to run to YouTube to use it to get more donations, to fuel a conspiracy that she might have attempted to murder him in a suicide attempt? This case was- That was your bullshit. Not anyone else's. Your bullshit. You need to own it. Started on May 23rd. May 23rd is when this case started, right? When Vaughn made the decision to attempt to take his life. And since then, it has turned into a horrible situation where so many people are using this for their own gain. People will criticize me, but I, trust me, for me to completely change my tune and reevaluate the situation, knowing that there was an angry mob on the exact opposite side that was going to come for me and send me threats, I wasn't caring about my platform. I don't oh, care if I lost okay, you can go to hell with sitting there saying that you're writing threats. Why is it every single time shit don't go your way, you're being threatened? You're Stop the lies, KJ. Get offline and go be a family. And stop snipping your Adderall. 10,000 subscribers. I don't care if I lose 60,000 subscribers. Yeah, you do. I changed my mind. I don't care if my Facebook grows and I don't care if I make a dime. Because I'm not going to go along with a lie so that I can get attention. And so that I can like manipulate and uh, take like take advantage of a family that is in a vulnerable state of mind. No one that's in this situation is helping Vaughn. Like, I feel sad that all parties on all sides of Vaughn are, like, are feeling him right now. I feel like every single person out there thinks that they're fighting for justice for him when nobody knows exactly what Vaughn is or who he wants or what he was or what he cared about. Everyone's ignoring all of the facts and all of the things that Vaughn has said about his own parents online. Everyone is ignoring the fact that Vaughn was very vocal about his relationship with his mother. Of course he loved her, but of course they had a lot of estrangement and she doesn't even blame Andrea on her entire life of letting this child down. She let him go. She had no posts about him. She never talked about him. You're she a no bitch. Interactions with him. They didn't talk for almost seven years and they had one conversation and she wants you to believe that because of that one conversation, they were going to keep being best friends and everything was going to be water the bridge. Dre is not a perfect person. She's done a lot of shit that I don't agree with. The way that she chooses to parent, the way that she uses her platform to push products that she shouldn't be promoting, the way that she controls people and makes people feel like they can't say no or they can't or they'll get blocked, you know, or the fact that she's abusing her power as an influencer and promoting addictive products and getting her uh, audience addicted on Kratom and addicted on all these other herbs that could potentially be very harmful. Everything she just said right now is a lawsuit. Oh, please, Dre, sue her ass, please. Well, knowing full well that I've had inbox, inboxes from people that were harmed by the recommendations made by Dre. And then knowing that she has a group on Facebook where people are literally using the following her and calling them, a fear, calling her a fearless leader. It's a cult mentality, and that's what honestly- Stop it, it. not everything is a cult. Holy shit, you are delusional. Look at that face. You cannot tell me that she is not high. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Look at the pupils. You're a sick, disgusting monster of a mess. I'll tell you that. Anything else? Is that unbridled power and her abuse of that power and convincing people to listen to her over everyone else. But that doesn't even deserve what's happening to her now. It doesn't deserve the entire internet accusing her of a crime that has yet to be even charged or even, they haven't even said foul play exists. Existed. It is August 1st and it's still an attempted suicide. That hasn't changed. Yeah, uh, you tried to change it by claiming his own wife hopped him up on K, strangled him, and tried to murder him. You said that. Again, I'm sick of repeating myself. She hasn't lost custody of the kids. Adult Protective Services isn't involved. And you can't force someone to get arrested just because you don't want them. Because you want them to get arrested. 
she might have been a shitty wife and a shitty person and she might have been controlling his all hell, but she probably didn't do this to Bond. And I don't <laughs> think that the police are going to find anything that makes it that she did this to Bond. And if, I can't believe she's saying this. She's the one who made the announcement that she thinks they were, she, what I just said, she thinks, you know, she claimed he was, he was, she was going to, he was, she was trying to murder her own husband. She did this. And now she's backtracking to gain Dre's followers. How much you want to make a bet? Well, don't bet me. Cause if I lose, I can't afford to pay you. <laughs> I can't believe her faces. There she goes <laughs> with the O ring of her mouth. <laughs> that must be her orgasm. <laughs> oh god why do i do this to myself <laughs> oh my god <laughs> of course i changed my mind for all of the people that have said over and over and over again that i changed my mind of course i changed my mind i changed my mind when i got more information about the situation and i did the right thing oh yeah looking at the entire situation from a very wide perspective and took in all the information I didn't sit on that information for weeks at a time and pretend like I would do all of this. I didn't. And I didn't change my mind because his family didn't want me to talk to them. His family doesn't want anyone to talk to them that will push back on their narrative. And that's the truth. They want that's a damn lie. You change your mind for exactly that reason. Because the family wants nothing to do with you. And you want Trace followers. 100%. Oh my god, the faces. Is this another old face? <laughs> Holy shit. I should just make a video of all of her faces like Janet did. Did you guys see Janet being Janet? Her video on KJ with all the different faces? Oh my god, it was great. But these ones I'm getting, I'm wondering if I should make one too. I don't know if I, I don't think I could because I couldn't stop laughing. I would ruin the video. Like I'm gonna now, but I'm stopped. Want to Holy it, shit. The reasons of profit or because they're in denial. I don't know. But a lot of people are making a lot of money on a lot of lies. And I'm not okay with that. And I was I was responsible for part of the story getting out there. And I feel a sense of responsibility to pull it back in. And it's not a vendetta. And it's not to get back at creation. It is a vendetta when you're asking Letitia for a refund. You're sick and twisted because they don't want nothing to do with you. You want the refund. And then you lied about the refund and claiming it was $1,000. When in fact, it was only, what, 100 at first? And then the total amount was, what, 600 you're sick. It is, it's literally to say that what is happening right now is wrong. You can go on her lives and you can say justice for Vaughn all day, but justice for Vaughn was never justice for Vaughn. Justice for Vaughn and that group started so Letitia could see her son. That's not justice. What do you think is justice about a mom going to see her son? That implies that a crime was committed against Vaughn, but the money raised is not benefiting Vaughn in any capacity at all. Tell me one dime of that money has benefited him at all. So she could see him. That's it. It's not benefiting his care. It's not benefiting um, his well-being. And all of them saying that they could potentially get him and take care of them and get custody of him. No, they won't. Oh, because you know Every everything, right? Those family members has felonies and has criminal convictions that would pre prevent them from being able to take care of him. Who the hell are you to out that, even if it's true? Are you serious? God, you're one miserable, mean bitch. Specifically those that have violent convictions for stalking and batteries. You know, That's you. Assault. His dad, his dad said that he wanted to be able to take him home and take care of him. His dad has a current, he's involved in a current situation for aggravated stalking. As much as you want to like love him, and I feel bad for Marvon Sr. That's not going to happen. A court is not going to look at him as a safe person for his son. He has a history of domestic violence and he's had charges for violence against children. You have to be practical here. No one is saying that these people should not see him or be able to say goodbye to their loved one, but no, people need to wake up and realize they're not going to win a case of getting guardianship with him when Andrea has not even been deemed not able to care for him. As far as I know, no one's trying to get guardianship of a full grown ass man. Okay. He's married. Nobody's getting, he's not a child, KJ. Nobody's trying to get custody of him. You don't get custody of a fucking grown adult. Like what the hell? by doctors who are with her every single day at the hospital. She is surrounded by mandated reporters every time she's there. The hospital that she has a policy that she- I find it weird that you have no more nurses, which are mandated reporters. I find it very strange that you don't have them anymore because I guarantee they would be reporting your ass. Donna Zan has a policy that patients are never left alone. So even though she's there visiting him, there's always someone that's watching. The rooms likely have video monitoring in them so that they can keep an eye on their, their patients. 
Generally speaking, nurses have windows where they sit right outside of the patient's room. All kinds of rumors have fueled this to a place where it's just so far gone. And a lot of this was- But it's the rumors that you have started. Get that through your head. Started by speculation and rumors generated by one creator named Molly. She told you guys falsely that Dre was like uh, banned from the hospital because she was reported to the police and to FBI. Molly was telling you that they came to her house to tell her that Dre was under investigation by the FBI. Are you kidding me? That's not how it works. They came to her house because Dre called the FBI on her and called police on her and reported her to the police. They didn't tell her anything more than, I'm, I'm not doubting that they might have told her that due to the threats that she had been initiating online by her behavior and providing out in information for people to go to people's houses that people were feeling unsafe, maybe even people at the hospital. <laughs> she looks crazy. I just wanted to apologize for all the noise. Uh, when I first went on, I was trying to f hurry up and finish what I was eating. Oh my God, it was good. I made this... Um, they're called burrito, burrito bowls. So I had like the rice and the Mexican seasoning and the peppers and the onions. And then I had the hamburger with um, sour cream and I mixed some lime in it. Oh my God, it was ever good. It's probably like my favorite meal ever. Anyway, so that's what the ting, ting, ding was. And then I decided I needed a tea. Then I need to wave off the counter. And then I thought, oh, well, um, I need, what the hell else do I do? Throw stuff in the garbage. But yeah, I was just kind of all over. So sorry, I apologize. I'll be quiet now staff were feeling unsafe because of the protests and the people showing up and trying to get information but you going there isn't going to change does anyone know if there's actually protests i don't know because i'm not there same as many of you i guess wouldn't know either right um i haven't watched a lot of molly's videos like i usually do but i'm behind on those too so i watch what i can but there's protesters now i need that fact checked just the situation and calling the hospital isn't going to get any of you answers because it's none of your business and you don't get access to his private details. I feel angry. Did you hear what she just said? Then who the hell does she think she is by thinking she's going to get the body cam footage? Who the fuck are you, Katie? You're nothing. You're not even a reporter. You think you are, but you're definitely not. And you need to talk to your lawyer. Your lawyer needs to tell you that you're not a reporter. You don't just poof one day. I'm a reporter. What the hell makes her any different from any one of us, our, us creators? Like, how is she different from us? She's not. The only way she's different is because she's she's a jerk. She's malicious. And she's a monster. That's what makes her different. Not how is she a reporter and we're not. I would never call myself a reporter. I I don't even, I wouldn't even want to be a reporter. What I'm doing is commentary. What I'm doing is showing her bullshit. And I won't stop until she's gone. Honestly, I won't. And that's how I think all of us creators should be. Just don't stop. Keep it. Keep it going. Keep it going until she's gone. Only way that'll work. Because I don't even like Dre, but what's happening to her is so unfair. I don't agree with her parenting. What, what, her head, what the DC has not taken a What the hell is wrong with her head? What is that? They look like looks like skin being popped out. Like, does she need more Botox? Watch it. Her kids, and I don't know if the dad, the, the ex husband, is in oh my god, <laughs> her wrinkles they're getting stuck. <laughs> Holy shit, KJ, you make my day. Watch every time her face moves, her wrinkles stick. <laughs> But that was you that started that lie, you crazy fuck. Look at her eyeballs. She is nuts. Look at them. That's high. True. I need to talk to you about these Facebook groups that started this and launched this. Oh, do you know? Admins that started this group were not doing this to help Dre. They were doing this because they had a vendetta against Dre. That's why these groups started. They were angry at Dre. They didn't like Dre anymore. And they were hell bent on her being canceled by having what. I think you're just a little about her because you got kicked out of all of them. <laughs> but he should have a voice. They said it was altruistic, but no, if there is no altruism in this. There was. People that were above Dre at paparazzi that wanted her to lose her job. There was people that were below her. Are you serious? Paparazzi. You're the one that called paparazzi and tried to get her to lose her job. You, holy shit, she did. She called them. She contacted them, trying to see. She already. She mentioned that. She's like, yeah, I tried to get her fired, and they won't fire her. Like, what the fuck? See that were part of these admin teams that wanted her to lose her job. Competition, competition, and beauty bloggers and people that blogging that also wanted her to be canceled. 
you have former admins that are disgruntled and angry. And yet you contact her job and try and get her fired. You actual friends that still are in her life say a damn word. And I have lots of messages from people that do like her still that have good things to say about her. So while everyone wants to call her evil and horrible and all of these things, maybe she is and maybe she's not. I can't believe that everyone, any one person is all evil and all good. We're all a mix of everything. Yeah, well, you're definitely not a mix. You're pure evil. Yeah. But I'm not going to sit here and continue to perpetuate this. And so if it bothers you, then I'm pointing out the deception that's happening online. And I'm continuing to point out the misdirection, the misinformation, and all of the manipulation that's happening to the audience by creators on YouTube. I'm going to use my platform to try to correct a wrong. Do you notice how she's the only one who speaks like this to people? <laughs> like, if you, if you don't like it, don't watch me then. Like, just, she's the only one that acts like this. The only one. No one else is insane like her. Um, that I contributed to making. I don't want to be a part of this. Too late. Trust me, there's a lot more things that I could be doing right now where I wouldn't be doing this. But right now I feel like Vaughn is in a hospital and his story is being exploited. He's being manipulated. His family is being manipulated. His family is also manipulating people. Oh, yeah. No one's Sucking teeth again. That's her favorite thing. Considering the safety and the well-being of his kids. How does any of these online moms going up to where Dre's mom's house is, going to her house, trespassing on her house, how does that protect the children? That actually makes the children scared. I'm surprised you're no not there. No one's thinking about the kids. They're thinking about this insane social justice that they want to think that they have the right to force police to do something that they don't maybe have grounds to do. because Just like you thought you had the right to force paparazzi to fire Dre? <laughs> Hypocrite. Because there's no charges to make. No one's saying that what she did with Vaughn is right. No one's saying that the playing doctor and giving him drugs is right. But I don't know what criminal charges they could even give her at this point. Because Vaughn was also- Because you're not a cop. Scenarios, a willing participant. Stop it's sucking hard. your teeth. No Ew. one's doubting. No one's saying that domestic violence wasn't a part of this relationship. No one's saying that uh, Vaughn wasn't very well controlled by her. But I also heard on video him being verbally abusive to her. And I also heard a lot of, you know, arguments happening between them that were happening in front of kids you have 25 calls to police you've got domestic violence calls she's attacking him have you heard the way you talk in front of your kid your poor child thinks he's dying because of you <sighs> wow i agree it's horrible but at the end of the day like that doesn't mean that she tried to kill him that day and trying even to though you said so is wrong no one should be accused of a crime until and if they are guilty in a court of law. This is ridiculous because she's the one that accused Dre of a crime. Wow. There's not even a charge. And trying to convince an audience that she committed a crime because it helps your narrative for donations. Or That's what you did. You're just ratting yourself out. That's exactly what you did. Holy crap, AJ. Or for your channel to grow is wrong. Look in and there. And that's all I'm trying to say. What Molly and Justin are doing and L is wrong. Oh, you gotta add Ellen what there, don't you? What family are doing with this endless fundraising is wrong. It's not. You need to watch no it. No one's actually thinking about what Vaughn wants. And all of you that come to me and say, this is all drama, that's because this started as a shit show. This was never Thanks to you. from the beginning. Not one second of this has been true. Not one second of this has been honest. Wow. I'm, the, I'm the largest creator speaking out, saying that this is wrong. There I can't believe she just said that I'm the largest creator speaking out. Really? She thinks quite high of herself now, don't she? There's tons other that feel this way that are too afraid to say a word because they feel like the angry mobs are going to attack. Not, oh my God, that's not how real life works, KJ. Nobody's scared to say anything. You're a fucking idiot. Seriously. Nobody's scared to say anything. You think that way because you have to think that way because God forbid you be proven wrong. Just like how everybody gets chased off by mobs when they contact you. That's not true at all. We warn them. And then they find out who you really are. And then they want nothing to do with you. You can't blame us so-called haters and what you made up, which is stupid caters and the anti-KJ community. That's not what we're about. Remember uh, Janelle's mom, Barb from Team Mom? <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I've had messages that I'm evil, that I'm vile. You that are. I don't care about his family. Yep. Tell me what mother and father would go online when their husband, when their son is literally in a hospital. Uh, he's apparently not on life support. Wow. Are you serious? You, out of all people, are saying this. Miss Queen of the Internet, constantly being on the Internet, you did the same thing when Vaughn was in the hospital. You took selfies. You jumped in other people's lives. You did your own fucking life. And then you sat there and had to take pictures, selfies of yourself. Seriously. 
That's how narcissistic you are. And you have the audacity to say this about them. Wow. Support anymore. He's breathing on his own, still in a coma, and they're fueling an angry mob. <laughs> For what? Based on a feeling that maybe something isn't right? Yeah, you. Your feeling, remember? I don't know. But none of that's going to change anything. It's not going to make the police do a different job. It's not going to make CPS do anything differently. It's not going to change anything. And it's not going to help any litigation they think that they have. What it is going to do is it's going to prove to everyone else, and you guys are doing and proving Andrea right. Everyone is turning around going, Andrea wasn't lying. See, I, or Andrea. Andrea wasn't lying about, and I was told by someone, stop calling her Andrea. Her name is Andrea. So I'll, I'll stop with this. Andrea. Andrea told you about these people ahead of time, and you didn't believe her. Andrea told you about this situation, and you didn't believe her. You Andrea does lie, but she sometimes tells the truth. Interesting. Something she's not lying about. Well, go figure. All this is going to do is prove her right. And all it's going to do is it's going to end up and it's going to result in when she is eventually likely not charged for this because I believe it will stay a suicide investigate, suicide attempt. And if I'm wrong, I will eat my words. But what I think will happen is if it stays on this trajectory and it stays as a suicide attempt, every single person that's out there is trashing her is going to end up on the other end of a lawsuit or with charges for fraud. Oh, really? That no one's getting charged for fraud. You are such an idiot. If this GoFundMe was fraudulent, GoFundMe wouldn't be sitting there allowing it to still go on, you idiot. You are mean. You're a monster for asking for your donation back. You trying to sit there and say, well, I got it back because it was fraud. How is it fraud? It wasn't fraud at all. You're just a mean son of a bitch that didn't get your way. Or with charges for trespassing, Molly is playing with fire because she loves to call the police. <laughs> so do you. You love to call everybody's <laughs> managers and everything else to get them fired. That's what you like to do. You like to post financials. Like, are you kidding? Dre will call and weaponize the police against anyone. And she's already called the police on Molly. And now you've got a, you've got people in her in this group, Justice for Bond, trying to get them to what um, call EPS. She's going to use all of that against you, all of it. How about mind your business? She'll file charges against everyone. You're not I Dre. guarantee it. She has no problem pressing charges, and she probably has cases against quite a few people right now for a lot of different things: invasion of privacy, um, defamation. Uh, business interference. If you're a paparazzi consultant and you are directly trying to interfere in her business, like you did, like you business did, business interference. That's a tort. Ah, oh, cool. So what you did, apparent uh, as usual, is right because you can never you can do whatever the hell you want, right? You tried to get her fired. So like you're saying, it's a tort. Okay, um, that includes you too, dumbass. Keep going. Come on, keep digging that hole. I'm loving every minute of it. And it's a it's a civil it's a civil law that you cannot harm a competitor's business. Well, then I guess you're going to jail because you did the same thing to Jessa. You've done it to a lot of people. Definitely. Oh my God. Look at this disgusting tongue and eyeballs. Like she looks crazy. This is not someone who is not high. I'm sorry. I truly, in my honest to God opinion, I think she's abusing her Adderall. Absolutely. You don't have to like someone, but if you go out of your way to ruin someone's life because you don't like them. And it's ruin, not ruin. She can't even say that right. That says more about you than it says about the person that you're mad at. That goes to you too, dummy. Everybody that I'm talking to, this is what they say. She needs to be stopped. She's so evil. What is it that's in you so badly that makes you think that you're the person that needs to stop her? Why you need you to be stopped. To, you need to stop her. Molly wants her to be the next Amber Heard. Maybe she's not. Maybe she's literally. Are you serious? Everyone was calling you Amber Heard. <laughs> Just <laughs> a mom that made does makeup influence stuff. Think she's a god of some sort and is addicted to kratom and is in an active addiction and has mental illness. Same you can't see now. She's claiming she has mental illness and she doesn't know. Remember the last video I just did and she's like she may or may not have mental illness. Now she's actually stating that as fact that Dre has mental illness. Wow, looks like you'll be getting sued next. This story shouldn't be about this. This story should be about veterans. It should be about. The number of veterans who attempt suicide and successfully die by suicide, 22 per day. It should be about mental health awareness. It should be about- she, Somebody had to actually tell her that it was 22 a day. 22 suicides by vets every day in the U.S. Someone had to tell her that because she said two a day. Uh-huh. Domestic violence awareness. It should be about uh, learning about how influencers can be more um, responsible with their platforms. 
That it goes for you this. mainly. This is a horrible legacy for Vaughn. This is not what Vaughn deserves. Justice for Vaughn is not going to fall in the criminal court. But I think everyone has an op every single person has a opportunity right now to really evaluate where they are in this situation and decide for themselves. Do they want to continue to fuel an, a, na a narrative that's not true? Or do they want to sit back and objectively- <laughs> The narrative that you started. <laughs> Look at that tooth. I think it's going to pop out. It's even more and say, over I'm there. not going to be a part of the problem anymore. I'm not going to push a narrative and push Okay, listen, the only problem here is you, and you've been told numerous times, keep your mouth off this family. You're the problem here, not anyone else. You need to back off. It's going through the poor, most horrible time of their lives to a worst place ever. Everyone keeps say saying, like, what about, oh, what you're doing to Vaughn's family is terrible, Katie. Yes, no. it is. What is everyone doing to Andrea and the kids? It's Don't turn this. <laughs> she just totally railroaded this because she's like, she won't answer about her bullshit. She has to change the subject and to blame somebody else. The blame game. It, it's, I'm not calling on any of you to harass them. I'm not telling any of you to do anything. I said, oh, really? if you donated off false pre pretenses, which I, which I was told falsely why I needed to donate off false information, get a refund. If you feel like you've been defrauded. How is this not telling you, telling your subs to get a refund? This is why Letitia is getting bombarded with emails and messages saying they want their money back because of you. Actually, I have got something to read from this little asshole. Let me see here. Listen to this. So this is from KJ today. She says, this is no, this is a longer clip and I want to be clear that it's not all from the same video. The first part is from a live Molly did right before calling Letitia. She and Justin said that they would not be showing any receipts or proof for the lawyers. They also said they would no longer promote any fundraising for Letitia. What? Then Molly started a new live where she called Letitia right off the bat. She told Letitia not to refund anyone. Letitia said that she had already refunded $4,000 but didn't have money left to refund some donors. She said she had to pay out of her own pocket for refunds. I wouldn't doubt. Good job, KJ. Molly told Letitia, my reporting of the situation was criminal. It is. Remember tort, like you said? Yeah. Letitia then says people probably sent money to someone else and not her, so she doesn't know if people even got money from her. Cash App has a button on all payments that directly seeks a refund. You can't request a refund for anything that you have not paid. With that info, then they instructed her to turn off that option and remove her bank account so no refunds could be disputed by the banks. I would do the same thing. While the lawyer issue is one factor of the situation, that isn't why people requested refunds. Oh, no? Okay, let's hear your stupid story. People believe they were misled by this group about what happened to Vaughn. What, that you started. Oh, my God. What Letitia was filing her relationship with Vaughn. No, you started the relationship bullshit with Vaughn. You did this, fuck. And Vaughn's like, accusation against Letitia of fraud from many years before. This is all KJ. This is all her. Everything I just wrote was all KJ. She did this. Oh, my God. Letitia said on July 15th that her lawyer filed emergency orders for guardianship. Then two weeks later said they never filed anything. Letitia was working with a woman, Brittany, who went to prison for impersonating a lawyer. Brittany said she found Letitia's attorney. That doesn't mean that Brittany is her attorney. That means Brittany helped find her one. And she's allowed to do that. And Letitia is allowed to accept. Letitia also requested money for a lawyer or defense lawyer, which people were led to believe was for a lawsuit Andrea might file. But later people found out this was due to Letitia knowing donors were reporting her to police for fraud. Letitia told admins she needed a defense lawyer to fight any charges. When you have so much doubt, misdirection, and misleading information, people simply want to prove where the money was going that it's not being answered. No one can say this is fraud or not, but right now this behavior is truly concerning many. <laughs> Whatever, KJ. Wow. It. I'm not calling on people to harass them. I'm not telling you are. these are bad people. I don't know why they're doing this, but right now it's it's ridiculous. Because and she if did it this. doesn't end up in fraud charges, I will be shocked. See, she's calling it fraud. You know what? When you donate something, that's out of the goodness of your heart. You don't ask for donations back. She's the only one that's asking for them back, except for her little minions that are now following suit. <laughs> wow. That's You're just sick. my opinion. So be smart. I will no longer promote any GoFundMe's on my platform. I will no longer promote any cash apps. 
and I'm not going to loan anybody. I will not raise money for anyone. I will only ever donate to charitable organizations like I have. Yeah, she had a cash app for the friend's father or the father's friend, like whatever that was. And then she stopped doing it. So where's that money, KJ? Because inquiring minds want to know. And people who actually donated want their money back. Oh, and let's not forget the Ronald McDonald House. Where's the money, KJ? You're a thief. Always done. I will not be helping out privately individuals that have these personal fights between family members. Mm. I will donate my money to the organization, like the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, or organizations that benefit. Notice how when she was covering um, the George, ca uh, George Floyd case, and you know what? She never even donated to him. Not one penny. Instead, she went to a church. Or she donated to, I think it was nuns or a church. No. It was indigenous. Uh, it was an it was an indigenous uh, website that she donated to. Sorry, that's what she said. Meanwhile, there was a cash app and everything. I go find me. I think one or two or both for George Floyd, and she refused to donate. She donated to indigenous people and said, "That's why I think she's racist. Like that's one reason. Like come on." And then asked for her her. Um, <clears throat> donation back from Letitia and then sit there and report her and sit there and tell her a little stupids to go and follow suit and ask for a refund and calling it fraud. You can't do that. I can't wait till she's gone. Oh my God. And help veterans or organizations like the national um, suicide and uh, crisis center hotline. The hell are you or doing? I to donate like I always have to the hotline, which is for domestic violence. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I've learned. Don't, don't act on emotion. And if you change your mind, it's okay to say that. And if you make a mistake, it's okay to own not it. Not in your not in your situation. You called this woman a murderer. You spread that far and wide. Everything I just read that you wrote on Twitter is all the shit that you've said and done. This is why people are thinking this way, okay? And you're not going to just take that back that you called her out. Sorry, but you're not. And say, I made a mistake. I got this wrong. I was misled. I was lied to. You were not misled. So you were misled. So you called her a murderer. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> wow. She never takes accountability for anything. Vendetta. It just means that I am part of the reason why this happened. And I'm going to try to, my, as all hell, to slow this moving train down as much as I can to wake people up. I can't control right. how any of you feel. I'm not asking you to not have empathy because hell, I have empathy for every single person involved. Every single person. Since when? You lack empathy. You don't have that in your body. You don't even know what empathy is. Sorry, but you don't. Nice try, though. Person, every family member is hurting right now. Every one of them. Their loved one is in a serious coma that is unlikely to ever wake up from or recover. That is a horrible, horrible burden to carry. And it's heart-wrenching when you have a loved one that has fallen to a suicide attempt because there's always so many more questions than answers and guilt. And that's a heavy burden for any family member to carry which is why it's important that if you're feeling suicidal or if you feel like you're in crisis, that you dial 988. That's why it's important if you need help that you reach out to friends and family and you let them know. That and that's why it's help. important that you need to stop running your mouth and get off every platform because you're dangerous and you're spreading malicious lies. And it's also important that if you have a loved one that's struggling, that you don't ignore the warning signs. I posted a post about Chester Bennington because his anniversary <laughs> of his suicide in 2000, 2017, five years ago, he died by suicide. And I shared what the warning signs are. Warning signs that his wife has said to this day he exhibited, but she did not see it at the time. Don't be blind to those warning signs and don't be afraid to tell. Now his wife was blind to the, Chester's wife was blind to the signs. You can't say that. I would sue your ass just for that. Well, friend, hey, I'm here for you. I'll help you. Or give them the number, 988, 24 hours a day. I'm going to go back to my YouTube happy place. That's all I have for now. I'm not even going to look at the comments. I really don't care if people are yelling at me. Bye, guys. People are yelling at me. You're ridiculous. <laughs> people are yelling at me. Come on. All right, I'm going to read that to you guys <clears throat> right now, and then I'll end this. Oh, I'll be going live at 6 p.m. Eastern time today, tonight. Um, so if you guys want to learn how to live stream 
and make videos, um, me and Steve McRae are going to show you guys how to. I asked him because he's super smart, right? And he knows, like, I know how to live stream and stuff, but I suck with direction and I suck with explaining things. So I want him with me so he can help. Because well, probably more than likely, I won't be able to answer all questions or something, something will pop up. You know what I mean? So I just want him for backup and to explain it better because he's better at it than I am. Okay, let's do this. All right, it's called Say and Don't Make It So. Show the receipts. Katie J Joy on Simply Shut Up. <laughs> this was 2020, December 29, 2020. And so here we are yet again, another day, another pile of things spilling from Katie Joy of without a crystal ball's lips that sounds like lies. Why this time? Some nonsense involving a moderator of hers who has been apparently masquerading to do videos against her and went by the Norm de Plume T. Oh, I'm not going to say that name. Frankly, I think the ones that need detox are the viewers of the content of Katie. I've been out of the KJ loop because I know when my emotional health is important. Since leaving Pathios, I'm no longer quivering. I'm trying to find my sea legs, newly structured my day, you know, newly structure my day and get back into the routine of swimming and riding my bike daily along with other writing projects. Change is hard. Sometimes it's just like that Jimmy Buffett song about Hurricane Katrina. Breathe in, breathe out, move on. Not that this time is as hard as post Katrina is or was. Katrina was particularly bad. I have to see if I can scare up my New Orleans photos. From the terrible aftermath, going down to my town, seeing my aunt's house a mere three blocks from 13th Street, Canal Beach. Post Katrina, I hosted family. Sent every spare cent I had for months to our far flung family. I remember crying hard the day I saw the bank on my Canal Street, my father worked at for years underwater, or the day the yacht club burned. So many childhood memories gone in a flash. Jimmy Buffett says the song, Breathe In, Breathe Out, Move On, is an illustration on how you get through tough times. Tough times for whatever reason. This pandemic is wearing on everyone, and I think it's racketing up the fighting and tension everywhere. I know yesterday I made the mistake of going to the auto mercado, and it was over full of arrogant tourists this week between Christmas and New Year's, and I usually avoid the local stores here then. It's the busiest week of the year for tourism and always make me lose it. Add in the hordes of folks shoeless in swimsuits refusing to socially distance. <clears throat> Reasons do not engage in much of the movable freak show that is Katie Joy's <laughs> machinations. Today when I saw what was happening with KJ and her moderator, I started to smell a big fat stinking rat. I believe it's likely this was orchestrated by Katie Joy. For that purpose, I do not know. I just know that Teddy Westbrook's lawyer was answered fully in detail, crossing the T's and dotting the I's of that pathetic, poorly written request for dismissal based on jurisdiction. It's looking more and more likely Katie Joy will be living on in a cardboard refrigerator box under the interstate bridge somewhere before this is over. I'm starting to feel afraid for her, even if her entire problems are self-inflicted. Self-inflicted damage. But that's just my opinion, of course, just like everything else here, strictly my point of view. That ended once I saw Katie Joy was busy attacking Dottie Morgan and Tina, I'll cut you. She claims that members of a Facebook group, uh, I am a moderator for, is where the calls of CPS, death threats, and other allegations are coming from. No such thing. We have encouraged people not to engage with her at all. No contact, no trying to call CPS. None of that is allowed. She's defaming an entire group with absolutely no proof. And she seems to not understand that if she'd behave with a, a modicum of class, there'd be no need for the group at all. This is just very common behavior by Katie Joy. When threatened with losing subscribers of money, she immediately starts accusing others of criminal behavior that they are not involved in. Part of me thinks it's to distract from what she's done, but a larger part thinks that this is a projection. How many times have we seen people guilty of all sorts of crazy things, accusing innocent others of the same thing or worse? I've said the exact same thing about her. Katie Joy is cornered and desperate, and just like a trapped wild animal, she's lashing out at anyone around her. It's almost painful to watch. She needs to take a nice long vacation from YouTube and Twitter. Part of being an adult with good boundaries is knowing when it would benefit your mental health to leave a situation by taking a semi-permanent leave of your in internet senses. I totally agree. This afternoon on a live stream, I said that I believed she was behind the attacks on my old soon-to-be-deleted email address. I do not have proof. What happens is, if I mention her in any way, shape, or form in a YouTube video without, a without an hour 
Within an hour, my old public email box explodes with emails with virus-laden attachments, insurance quotes, magazine orders, porn, porn, and porn. Oh, yesterday was particularly vile. Someone signed me up at one of those have an affair sites, signed me up as, a inter as interested in working as an out call, call girl and a few interesting wrinkles on things. Very middle school. Yeah, that's exactly what happened when that was around, okay? All this shit was happening. Yeah. The, during the Toddy Westbrook suit. And that's why I always say KJ is the, not the common denominator in this. And that's why everybody was getting hacked. And that's why there was death threats and yada, yada, yada. And I had made them sure. But Katie Joyce isn't clean. I'm not going to comment on the Dottie Morgan and Lil Red falling out. I've been on Lil Red's live stream. That's where I met Dottie. I haven't been in 100% agreement with Red, and I've only been on a handful of times on her stream. But for me, the difference is I just don't fight with those who are wrong. I look as if someone really has any real effect on my life and decide sometimes to correct someone's faux pas is not my job description. <clears throat> Example. The first time I went on Lorette's channel, she had a Duggar hugger on who was openly lying about the Duggars. I didn't say much or even contradict them because I know from personal experience, one cannot reason with Duggar fans. Red wanted so badly to believe everything Katie Joy was alleging was false. She also allowed someone to tell a very false narrative about the Duggars on that show. I know Dottie. I know she's a very nice lady. I don't know for sure what went down between her and Red. I do know that Red has had people on her live streams without betting who they are, and it has come back to bite her sometimes. But I believe there's room for everyone, as long as they aren't lying liars who lie. <laughs> liars always suck. Watch who you want on YouTube, but wait their statements carefully. Are you watching a YouTube where people twitch and fidget or look up or around while talking? Keep your eyes peeled for the elaborations of a bad liar. Uh, this really needs to end. I'm going to try not to mention or speak of Katie Joy outside of a courtroom if necessary in 2021. An interesting in the same sick way that watching Mentally Not All There Mae Thompson is, or reading the truly awful fiction written by one L. Ann Carrington, some weird internet, internet thing. I think I read this. I plan on speaking out each and every time she sprouts <clears throat> information about the same subjects I cover on LLQ. People who misinform others are doing them a grave disservice. Now, I'm not even going to debunk her laundry list of lies against me. They are incredibly laughable. But the silliest one is claiming I made 50k a month selling made-up stories to the tabloids about one Josh Duggar. I have never done this. I will never do this. I sit here giggling in the maid's room off the laundry room, my temporary office, while the master bedroom suite is defuming from last week's painting a repair a leaking, to repair a leaking roof. I wish. I would have a solid gold mink lined hot tub and a maid actually living in this tiny room to make sure I never wash a dish or have to dust ever again. She is well aware of what Pathios payments are like and knows it's not enough to afford me much beyond funding my terrible art and crafting habit every month. I do not do what I do for money. I consider warning others off certain types of religion more of a public service, not a career, not a job. I am conscious enough on investment income not to have to work. It's a huge blessing to be in that position after years of struggling to get everyone raised and through college and grad school. I am so incredibly grateful for the life I have now. Here's what I am wondering today. Many times when people accuse you about things like this, they are projecting what they do right onto you. I am wondering if perhaps she's been selling information to the tabloids. Is she? Edited had just spoke to my editor at Pathios. I may be shortly discussing her on Pathios too. Okay, well, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to talking to you in the comments section. Um, I'm going to get off here because that's about it for today. <clears throat> I hope you guys have a great night. I hope to see you.